Now look. You and your controller can do the job. I just want somebody who can keep me alive out there. The best. The best. The best. Listen, Edison, I was out there once. I know how you feel, but it stops there. I don't know. It was pulled from high up. Very high. We have succeeded in pulling Edison Carter off there, Mr. Gershwin. Yes, fortunately your instructions were carried out in time. Telling our ratings, we have every cause for satisfaction. Overnight ratings, channel 23. Low, 115 million, high 226 million, which keeps us top network. Projections for the next hour are excellent. Let's move to the Blipberg problem. We may have to suspend the use of blip participants temporarily. There have been, as you know, these side effects on viewers. However, returning to conventional 30-second advertisements will once again give viewers time to switch channels with the consequent dip in our ratings. The very thing that Bryce designed blip to prevent. The Zitra Corporation are very keen to press ahead, buying airtime using our blip -verts. Right now, we are the only network that have blip -verts. Unless we use them, ZigZag might deal with our competitors. I do not intend to lose our major client. There's probably no connection with Blipverse. The good heavens, isolated instances of this phenomenon have occurred throughout history. People do sort of blow up, spontaneously combust, you know. No, I don't. I need some more informed opinion on the matter. So I have asked Bryce to meet us on the video link. Now he's our top man. I want you to leave him absolutely to me. The head of research and development on the link, sir. Hello there, Bryce. I need to talk to you about... I'm rather busy. I succeeded in computer generating a parrot on the screen. Oh, my congratulations. Whatever next. It squawks. <laughs> um, I wonder if you could find time to uh, illustrate to the board here this little hitch we have on your blip -verts. Put simply, the human body has millions of nerve endings. Each carries an electrical charge, individually very tiny, but in combination surprisingly large. Normally people burn it off, but in inactive people it just builds up. Now because I designed Blip first to compress 30 seconds of advertising information into 3 seconds, it appears the brain violently stimulates these nerve endings simultaneously. In some subjects, it causes a short circuit. Some particularly slothful, petrol viewers literally explode. As simple as that. I've got rather a good example of one on this Reaver's tape. You won't be so damn simple and let's go global. Look here, the only people who are that inactive are pensioners, the sick, or the unemployed. I take it that your Reaver's tape is in an extremely safe place. Of course. But look, it's not my problem. My brief is to find a way to stop channel switching. I mean, you know, I only invent the bomb. I don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> we think it might affect sales if... Uh... People begin to suspect. Uh, well, don't tell them then. Unfortunately, one of our reporters may have got quite near the truth. We have to be very careful. Oh, fire him. The crew's killed him. Laura, I'm playing you with Edison Carter. He's the best we have at Network 23, a bit volatile, but good. Yes, I heard. And what was the story you was pulled out of? Ah, uh, hi, Edison. This is Theora Jones. I'm nice to try her away from World Man. I've warned her you're a charm. Hi. Oh, how's the head? It's fine. How's yours? Right, where do you want to start? No trouble, all right. Tell me about it, honey. You know the rules. Yes, we do. Let me say we start by breaking one. See what you can get on this rash of reporters being pulled off hot stories for no reason. Edison, 
guess so. Of course, a PV usually expenses. We can do that. Yes, sir. Got some nice accident then. It's the pirate man again. Another one? He must even buy the dozen. Where are we going to get one to this time tonight? Not a parrot. A nasty little bugger. To be cornered. To perhaps hit. What is it? Try the payback unit. How do you know? Even clever ones. I know what about it. Yeah, it's just better to do. Camera check, please. Intersection to command. Okay, go.
Smash my bike. We, we made, made a deal, deal Mr. Boigle. Wow. He, he saw, saw the Rebus, Rebus tape. tape. He's the best known reporter on air. His show is top rating prime time. He satellites globally. And, and he, he saw, saw the tape, tape Mr. Grossman. You know what you're saying, Bryce. I run a television network, Bryce. Not a goddamn hit score. It's quite rational. Keep Carter on ice in the cryogenic unit. On ice. Meanwhile, his reports keep coming in for a while, so no one will question his sudden disappearance. And Bryce, I don't want to appear ungrateful, but how do we keep his reports coming in, huh? A seance? No. <laughs> I compute the physical characteristics of his head. Then I print his memory, his synaptic circuits. His synaptic circuits? His mind, you know. The brain's only a binary computer, a series of on-off switches. Then, Mr. Grossman, I can generate this man onto the screen from my computer. He'll be able to continue his program, and no one will know. But he will, in fact, be computer-generated. Just like the parrot. Prepare it. Yes, Supervisor, please. Supervisor? Yeah, I'm transferring Mr. E. Carter, that's Edison Carter. Ident number? Um, uh, personal ident code 74928B DG6629. Incident? Yeah, auto accident section 5, area 23. No, we have no way answering that description.
can dump down all the information in the mind and replay it at will. Then I can eliminate any information I don't want. My power squawks in much the same way. But my research funds must not be starved. I have to have time and money. Do you sleep, Bryce? Only physically. <laughs> For the moment, the computer power is only enough to generate a human head and too many coordinates for the rest of the body, which naturally won't be needed. This is the future. People translated as data. Does this thing reproduce him as a reporter is all that I'm concerned about? This whole situation is becoming very disturbing. Understand this. You abandon that garbage. You apply this unit to the crucial matter of the blip that problem. I want that resolved, and I want it fast. This parrot project terminates now. Perhaps you don't understand the potential of this development. I understand the potential of this situation. This electronic oaf has a record of what Carter saw on the Rebus tape. Smash it. Carter here has the same information. Either reluctantly, we must somehow get rid of him. I do so hate wasting an employee. I'll have Boyd or Marla handle it. They relish performing good works. I don't like that Mr. Bryce. The little shit's too clean. Gives me the creeps. Cleanliness is next to godliness. That young man's got some brain on him. Be worth a bother to. Not a great pair, oh, Mr. Bryce. Nice head, though. Is the body still alive? He's a bit alive. Nasty knocking hair back. Right. 
Ich hab noch einen Kerl.
That Mr. Marlowe is a complete person. That machine is the coded mind of the dead Mr. Carter. Soon I'll be able to reconstruct anybody on the screen. Even you, Mr. Marlowe. So accurately that even your own mum would know it was you. I care to call it the Phoenix, Mr. Bryce. My word. You could have all your politicians in little boxes. It's very handy. Now, Mr. Boyle, where is big time television? We could move up the Polly Show, pull in an extra episode, and get the standby show online. Midnight. We could rerun the Rat Killers when Megabuff last level. We could go porno early. What did the others say, Ben? What actually did it? It's only 2%. 2% two percent. Two percent is 26 million consumers, Ben. Once they start switching channels, it's war, you know that. It happens all the time. We're used to it. But if they're still running blipverts instead of regular adverts, there wouldn't be any channel switching. Blipverts have only been off here 10 hours and already the ratings are 3.7 percent down, but not the 2 percent you suggest. I'm going to reinstate blipverts. And that's final. More class. Reggie, I take it all back. You are brilliant. <laughs> This is Max Singh, Tinker and Beer Show, comes from the door. I'm starving, now I'm going to micro somewhere. Alpha 30s, spaghetti lettuce and tomato sauce, you want some? Good thing. Max has got a weird facility. His data store is huge, right? So he has a lot of info, right? Give him a command and away with the mix up. But he's just from Bill Teddy, you know, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. He jumps. And it's not just information, it's like intuition. Oh, Reggie, darling. It's only just a bloody old voice box with a load of bites. Root it and off it goes. It's just how the people's phrases it uses. And how come he's got a sense of humour? There's something very bent here. Those two goons have in Max. Not in their league. Doesn't add up, though. It adds up on my figures. Max is making this station. And what if the real owner wants him back? Of the my dead body. It might be. I'm gonna put the wheels of us back on, but just in case. Okay, Bryce. Let's start with the other night. Give me a graphic. Are we holding? It's okay, we stayed. 28 and 42 have taken a dive. Get analysis on this. That was unpleasant. But half some peasants is going to be when the pit birds have their ultimate effect. Somebody sometime is going to make the connection. Hey, look at this. That climb is exponential. Uh, the figures in my news stand in the thousands. Let's take a look anyway. They may have something worth chasing. But I understand why people prefer watching television and the radio. They've worked out how boring it is watching the radio. This is Max Hedrill on the time. I have to spend a little time recently with the parrot. It's true. I won't tell you why, but what amazes me is why anybody would want to spend any time at all sitting at home teaching a bird to talk. I mean, what's wrong with the rest of the family, huh? And of course they teach them something really interesting, like who's a pretty boy? <laughs> what I get is you have your life. This smells good. And you left him, like this. Bryce. Where is it? That pirate station. I think it's a Carter might have it. Carter? But you told me he was... Who did this to you? Carter. How did we find him? How? Damn it! Boy, Glamour. They know. But it is a significant distance. How much? Oh, I should think at speed it'll be much fuel. 
Thank you very much. Destructions of delight. Your white house is a Girls, sitting in the back seat, everyone along with Fred. I said, I don't want of you come up and sit beside me. This is what the little girl said. All together now, one, two, three. Keep your mind on your driver, keep your hands on the wheel. Keep your snooky eyes on the road, Jacket. Oh, what? Here I am, sitting in the back seat. How can I get you everywhere? Okay, we're here. Close the doors, lads. Thank <laughs> you. 